Okay, perfect. Why don't we go ahead and get started? We've got about 10 attendees now on the call. So welcome everyone to the National Down Syndrome Society's DS Works Employment uh, webinar tonight. We're excited to have you all here. The National Down Syndrome Society is the leading human rights organization for all individuals with Down Syndrome. And we are excited to present you all a little bit more on our DS Works program and one of our fantastic DS Works partners in um, Austin's Underdogs. So tonight's webinar is being recorded and will be put on YouTube, our YouTube channels, and also shared on our social media. We encourage you to share with your organizations and communities after you listen tonight. Um, and if you have any further questions, you can email us at NDSS um, at info at NDSS.org, or you can give us a call. Um, and with that being said, I will turn it over to my colleagues, um, especially starting with Khadija. All right, thank you very much, Colleen. Good evening, everyone. My name is Khadija Farmer. I am the Community Outreach Associate here at the National Down Syndrome Society, and it's a pleasure to join you all here on this webinar this evening. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to first, I guess, talk about a little bit about what DS Works actually is. So what is DS Works? Next slide. All right, so DS Works is an employment campaign by the National Down Syndrome Society that encourages corporations and businesses to invest in hiring individuals with Down Syndrome and increase the number of career opportunities in a meaningful and competitive employment setting. Um, the DS Works campaign, which is now more of an employment initiative, uh, is a way to encourage a constant culture of communication as to where people have the opportunity to walk through open doors of organizations in our communities that promote inclusion and equality in the workplace. Next slide. Thank you, Khadija. My name is Emily right. Kazmarzik, and I am our D NDSS DS Works Outreach Coordinator. And tonight, I am so honored and I'm so grateful for Austin and Jan Underwood to be here this evening. Um, discussing our, their employment initiative of Austin's Underdogs. So if you guys would like to say hello, Jan and Austin. Hello. 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 Um, I'm just going to ask you guys a few questions. Where, Austin, where exactly are you from? Move on. Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. Perfect. And can you guys just Jan, I'm going to start with you. Just tell me a little bit about your your background, Austin's background. You guys kind of both let us know. Um, it says here you attended Eastern New Mexico University, trained as a prep chef in the university cafeteria. I just want to know a little bit more about that, how that started, how that became, and then how Austin's Underdogs really was, was born and what it is today. Sure. Um, when, when Austin graduated from high school, the, the main thing he wanted to do was go to college like his younger brother and his older sister. And we searched for a program and found one in um, Roswell, New Mexico, which was at Eastern New Mexico University. And it was a vocational pro program for about 70 uh, students. And they tested them for what might be their profession, and Austin wanted to be a chef. And there was probably realistically not the ability to be a chef, but they recognized that he could be a prep chef. And so that's what he trained in, and that got him in the food bug, and he wanted to own a restaurant. So when he, so when came, he back came back from college, college he worked, he worked uh, numerous, numerous jobs. jobs. He started he out started at McDonald's. McDonald's. He worked at uh, Albertsons as a uh, courtesy clerk for 13 years. He worked at a restaurant, and um, he still wanted to own his own restaurant. So, so um, in, in 2014, 2014, he was actually married, married to his little childhood sweetheart, and, and that did not last, last very long because the girl's mother couldn't really, couldn't really let go of, of her control, control of her daughter, and so it ended in divorce. 
and I recognized that we needed to do something to um, give Austin some future and some hope, and that's how we came up with Austin Underdogs. I knew I, I, knew I couldn't do a restaurant, restaurant or, or, a or a brick and mortar restaurant because those are very expensive. They're very labor intensive. It takes a lot of capital to do. So, so we, uh, we, you know, I asked Austin, I said, would you like to maybe cook your favorite food, which is a hot dog? And he was like, sure, I want to do that. And, uh, Underdog, underdog was his father's great father name in high school. So, so it, it was kind of natural to come up with Austin's underdogs. That's fantastic. I love that. And so, Austin, I have a question for you. What is one of your favorite memories from being at Eastern New Mexico University? What's what's What sticks out? What was one of your favorite things that you did there or learned there? I went there and went skiing to to have fun with being a child who has Down syndrome with with special needs. Did you learn to cook? And I learned how to cook when I was in college, and I was a pre chef in college to wake up with a alarm. And like going to normal classes, get their own time, and then start cooking stuff, and I got to do those things. That's fantastic. It's always it's it's never easy to wake up with an alarm, Austin. Um, yes, I will agree with that. And, and what and is they, one of your favorite? as well. <laughs> Say that one more time, Jan. I'm sorry. Yeah. They they had to do their own laundry as well. You had to do your oh own laundry, and, and the, they they take us to a grocery store, go out, which is gonna buy our own groceries and all that stuff like that. It, it was independent. A lot of, uh, life skills that were taught in that one year that he was there. Well, it seems like there was a lot of fantastic takeaways from that that situation. So. Is very encouraging for other families as well in, in the same situation as you guys were. And we, I, moving on, I really would like to just talk more about Austin's underdogs, about kind of the vision, what you all are doing now, and what what their next steps are. And I'm going to hand that off to Khadija, and, and so she can discuss more about that. Khadija is so good with em, tailoring employment and talking about employment and how that benefits all individuals, no matter who you are. And so we are so ha happy to learn more about Austin's underdogs. Absolutely. Emily, thank you very much. You know, Austin, I am, first off, I want to congratulate you for your sheer definition of what self-determination actually means, especially when it comes to the idea of, you know, chasing your career. Um, and I'm, I'm very proud of the fact that you've been afforded many opportunities to hone in on different skill building um, places, right? I, I I know that you spent some time in McDonald's in the past and you were able to pick up some some awesome customer service skills there as well. Um when we talk about your Austin's underdogs, um what is what is the biggest change in your business that you've seen from the beginning until now? Well we want to name it Austin's underdogs because that is a fan, a funny fanny uh, underwear, underwear, underdog, because I want to have a business like that, just like my mother and my dad have their business. You wanted to own your own business. And I want to own my own business. And and you have succeeded in that, sir. Yes, you have. Congratulations. Austin, how many hot dogs Thank did you, you sell last year, just out of uh, curiosity? How many hot dogs did you last year. Last year we saw almost 10,000. Wow. Wow, that's, that's, that's quite a lot of hot dogs there. I'm going to have to get myself a text. Of and that's quite a, quite a bit of hot dogs indeed. Well, congratulations on that success. Um, has there been any changes in your business since you started it until now? Has there been any growth, shall we say? Well, almost 
you have a new worker. I have a new worker who started working for me, and he he's 21. His name is Daniel Blackwell. He is my new assistant manager. So he he he's working for me too. Also, and he helped me cook hot dogs. I love that. I love that, you know, you started your own, you chased your dream, you grew your business, and now you're hiring other folks, giving them the same type of opportunities that you've had in the past. That's that's quite the accomplishment. Uh, Austin's Underdogs is serving the Dallas-Fort Worth, Fort Worth, Texas area. I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm from New York City. Um, and there are <laughs> franchise opportunities that are available within his organization. So Austin is quite the entrepreneur as he, you know, makes plans to grow his business in the future. Um, Austin, I do have one, one last question for you before I pass it back over to Emily. Compared to other jobs that you've had in the past, I, I'm, I'm curious to know what, what makes the business that you have now, the business that you've created and grown with the support, of course, of your family and loved ones and your support team all around you, what makes this business, or shall we say this career, meaningful for you? One of the jobs I used to work at is for McDonald's. Between, uh, being at Corsi Court for 14 years. Um, I used to work at at the Abelson for 14 years. I was at Corsi Court, and I, 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 I'm a house and don't have to. But why did you, why do you like what you do now? All, all that I like to do now is I want to serve hot dogs and I have my own business and make money. It makes make me money. happy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that makes us all very, very happy. You know, it's, uh, you know, when we talk about the DS Works it, uh, employment initiatives, this is exactly what we mean when we talk about customized employment. When we talk about the idea that all of our beautifully differently abled individuals that are within the Down syndrome community don't all necessarily fit into this cookie cutter box of what employment may look like for other individuals and that's okay. And when we talk about people like Austin and his entrepreneurship, if you will, we can see that employment can be customized and can be tailored so that it fits the the needs and the drives and the dreams of a person. And you know, once again, Austin, I I, I know I've been congratulating you here, but you have you have really uh, done quite the deed, and, and I, I wish you well in your future ventures with the idea of expanding because that, that is a, that's yet another step and just a, another self-determinating factor for you. So it's awesome. Quite the accomplishment. Thank you. Thanks, Khadijah. And I really want to point out and focus on what is really interesting and unique about Austin's Underdogs. And I've learned so much in getting to know Jan and Austin is that you all are looking to franchise your businesses to, are you trying to franchise them to just anyone? Or are you just trying to franchise them into other community, into the Down syndrome community? Or just tell me a little bit more about the franchise aspect of, of okay. Austin's Underdogs. Yeah, our, uh, the franchise idea came to me just because I have franchised a business before in another career that I had. and. Um, you know, it's kind of like when you when you find something that really works and it works well and it becomes profitable, um, I always feel the need to share it with everyone. And uh, the Underdogs franchise, I would uh, kind of develop only for families with a special needs uh, son or daughter, niece or nephew. I, it would not be something that we would want to have just anyone having a franchise but for me and my husband we we thought gosh if we will do this for austin um there's probably at least another hundred families in the united states that that really would like to have the same opportunity but maybe don't have all of the uh time and effort that it takes to develop it and we seem to hit on a really good um, combination of factors, and that would be that it's a business that you can have meaningful employment, become profitable, 
and also run your own schedule because as all of us know, it takes a certain support team behind every working person with Down syndrome. And Austin does every aspect of the business that he owns with the exception of ordering product, driving the vehicle, and uh, being able to keep up with the finances. Um, and so there is a lot of support behind him, but as far as being able to go out and do the majority of the job, he can do that. And I feel like there's other families that could really benefit from this. The benefit to us from selling a franchise is we have um, a nonprofit foundation that we started, and it's called the Each and Every One Foundation. And I actually, Austin's underdogs was to make a living for Austin, but also to give back to the community and be a funding venue for um, the Each and Every One Foundation, which was created to um, produce a vocational training practicum and promote vocational awareness and education all over the United States. We um, we give money back to the foundation. We have a, a program that's called Donations for Dogs, where an, another nonprofit may hire us to do the fundraising, and they bring the crowd. We sell the hot dogs. We share the uh, profits with them. We give back half of the profits to whatever organization brought us there. And then the other half goes to our foundation to work on this vocational practicum that we would like to develop uh, here in the state of Texas. We really want it to be a model for other states and other universities, and it's modeled after the program in Eastern New Mexico University. But what's really a little bit unique about it is that I, um, own some old family property. So it's actually developing a practicum where certain skills, students can be trained in different skills from restaurant, agriculture, lawn and garden maintenance, animal care, pet grooming. There's a, an animal rescue headquarters that's already functional, but we don't have the students uh, um, program set yet, but the actual headquarters has already been built and is operational as an animal rescue headquarters. So we'll have a lot of skill sets that can be taught, and there's three neighboring universities and colleges in the area that we can bring students in if they will run the program with the dormitory living and the academics, um, much like Eastern New Mexico University. Uh, was in Roswell for Austin. It's a lot. It's a lot to um, try to uh, convey to the general public, but uh, as we um, tackle this, the, the franchise option, I think, for other families in other states is just really a viable opportunity to give meaningful self-employment to uh, the right family that's out there. Wow, that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing so much about the Each and Every One Foundation. Um, I am blown away. I really am. I, every time I, I hear more about that, I get blown away, and I'm almost a little bit speechless. So thank you for that. Kadija, do you have anything to add to that? I I am I am equally as blown away. I, I think that, you know, <laughs> it's, it's just amazing. You know, Austin has had opportunities that I think that, you know, some individuals may not necessarily have had the opportunity to have and, and to be able to pay it forward and to create opportunities for other individuals through the Each and Every One program. I, you know, it's just, it's just quite amazing. And people, people in general can, can learn from you and be inspired by you, Austin and Jen, um, let alone the people that we have in our own Down Syndrome community. It's just, it's just beautiful. And I implore you to continue to do what you're doing and continue to be an inspiration for people in general, but especially within the Down syndrome community. And, and, and so, Jan, you know, on, go ahead. yes. So, no, no, go no, ahead. I was just going to say on the, on the, on the franchise, um, 
the way that that it is laid out right now, there are so many different levels that a family can enter into as far as the vehicles. I mean, we we recently this year, last year we started out with the trailer, and um, then I bumped it up to be a um, an RV with a kitchen in the back, so that it, we're driving around in a 32 foot uh, RV with uh, to do hot dogs, and it's it's very striking. I, I know you've seen pictures, and I know you have photos of it in this presentation, but um, I wanted the RV because when someone in another state wants to do a franchise, Austin and I, we want, you know, we want that family to put down a, a nominal deposit towards the franchise, but then we will go to that family's community. They will host an event like we do here all the, you know, two or three times a week is, seems to be what we do. Um, and and we will put on an event for that family so that they can see step by step every every uh, thing that they will have to do should they decide to purchase a franchise because we don't want anyone to be blindsided by the amount of labor that it takes or the amount of expense or what you have to have in in capital. So that's why I wanted the RV and. Um, and I'm hoping that uh, this spring that we can kick it off and hopefully, you know, travel around the country and, and show everyone how Austin's underdogs can uh, make money for their son or daughter. So that's... Well, that's fantastic. And all of that information is located on your website, correct? Or they can contact you directly? They can contact me directly. I really haven't put very much out about the franchise at this point. This is really kind of the first announcement and unveiling of everything. Um, it's um, it's always a work in progress on these things, but um, we've really got, we're kind of like a well-oiled machine. And um, I think that it is, uh, definitely something that other families can benefit from and and it doesn't always take just a ton of money to do it uh, we've been contacted by several uh, vocational programs in Texas that just want to buy the franchise to teach the clients that they have at their school and I think I think that's a, a great opportunity because we can go from a little hot dog cart that has a cost of about $2,500, or you can go all the way up to the RV like we have that is greater than $50,000. So there's all different levels that people can enter into and not necessarily break the bank on what you would uh, spend. I, from my perspective, um, we spent one year of college on Austin. We spent four and a half on our other two children. So I feel like we have a little bit, we have plenty of money to put into Austin. And I think of it as his uh, career or, you know, like the car that we never had to buy and the insurance that we never had to pay for, which we did for our other children. So that's my justification for it. That's a great way to look at it. And it's amazing how you're thinking about that too, just overall giving each of your children what they need and what they deserve and helping others along the way with the franchise. Yeah, and the state of Texas, um, as large of a state as we are, we do not have a program uh, that exists like, what is it, Eastern New Mexico University. I mean, we had to pay out-of-state tuition for Austin to go to school because our great state of Texas did not have a program that he could attend at a neighboring college here in the state. And so that's pretty much what my focus has been uh, uh, for the Each and Every One Foundation is to make that a reality. And the property that I have in a, a little kind of a ghost town in that's 70 miles west of Fort Worth, um, it has an old grocery store that my great grandparents bought in 1906 when they immigrated from Italy. 
and that is that grocery store still stands pretty much in the same condition that it was in 1906. And I want to restore that and make it a farm to table restaurant with the uh, greenhouses in the back. You can have chickens. We have like a, two or three acres and have the students come from the area colleges four to five hours a day and work their shifts and and operate the restaurant, operate the animal care center with a visiting vet. So there's veterinarian assistance training, there's pet grooming, animal care. You know, there's just a variety of vocations that we're going to be able to cover that hopefully these uh, students will take back to their home communities and find uh, employment from their experience. Well, that's why we are so grateful for you guys today because that's what we are really focused on. And that's what the whole DS Works initiative is, is customized employment. And that's exactly what you are living and breathing and passing on to others. So thank you. And thank you, Austin, for following your dream. This is amazing. And you're making me hungry, like I said earlier. So thank you so much. Khadija, do you have any other questions? Um, I think comment? I think we pretty much. I think other than when can I come down and get an Austin underdog, <laughs> and some sometime in the near future, I think I think we covered it. You know, we are uh, we explored the idea of the many job opportunities that Austin has had that has brought him to where he is. Like I'm sure I'm absolutely 100 percent positive that all of the skill building uh, places that he's had his pit stop throughout life, just like many of us have had, has uh, afforded him that opportunity to utilize those those skills you know customer service and i'm sure there's there's been uh, crisis solutions you've had to solve and you know just again thank you for setting the bar and thank you for being an inspiration to other people with down syndrome who may think that they can't do something like this it's absolutely false and i think you're a living breathing testament to that um so yeah like i said before just keep, I, keep pushing and keep uh keep shooting for the stars Austin, because you're doing it i would I would like to say something to that effect is, um, you know, Austin is 39 years old. So he's been employed for 22 years and, and various, he's had various jobs. And, wow. um, you know, I think that uh, parents these days need to start out with letting their children, their adult sons or daughters that are of working age, um, go out and find jobs and, and realize that just like for the rest of us, it's not the job that you're going to spend your lifetime doing. It's the job that's going to prepare you for your lifetime of work. And my husband and I are both business owners and have been our whole, our whole lives. And, um, you know, we, we've, we've come from the bottom. I think I, I said earlier, I've been a, a parking lot attendant at a ski area, you know, so I, I've, I've done a lot of different jobs because before I became a business owner and, um, you know, it's, there's, there's a lot of jobs that the kids can do, but use that as a platform to get to where they really want to be. Agreed. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, I just want to again say thank you for your time. I know this is kind of an odd time today, but we really appreciate your time and what you've had to offer us and everyone online listening. Um, I know, Austin, you sell your famous dog sauce um, as well as a few other things. And so something that we are trying to do to kind of have a little fun with these webinars as well is to have a drawing for the registrant. So we will do a drawing on our end and Austin will send you a bottle of his famous dog sauce. So a lucky winner will receive that. So thank you very much, Austin, for providing thank that you. for them. So that's all I have, Austin. Thank you again. Um, have a wonderful evening. I know this is your night off, so I'm going to let you relax. And Jan, thank you so much um, for all your words of wisdom and your advice and just really all the information that you really gave to us. And more than anything, just thank you for being such wonderful advocates of DS Works and the Down Syndrome community. Uh, you know, and thank you all for, for listening. Also, of course. If you just if you just go online to my Facebook line, if you get online, just 
find they can see it, what what I do and you want to order it and they talk to us, you can buy them online and, and we can bring it and they can send it to your house. Okay, perfect. The ultimate, the ultimate uh, salesperson right here. I love it. Well, hey, he wants to make money. He has a vision. I appreciate I respect that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. yes, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. We really appreciate Thanks, um, being Thanks. affiliated with the National Down Syndrome Society. Well, we appreciate you so much. And uh, everyone has a wonderful evening. Thanks for joining us. Good night. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. All right, good night. Bye-bye. Good night, Austin.